What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die single player Let's Play. This is episode 9, and I've just been, uh, I finished everything I wanted to do upstairs, so I figured I'd come down here and do a little bit of work, and um, kind of, you know, just working on down here, trying to get stuff looking nice, and, you know, doing whatever I can, and uh, we're pretty much ready, oops, we're pretty much ready for the horde now, uh, let's go ahead and put these away, I've got my inventory cleared out for loot, although this, this horde probably not have that much loot to it um because i've been making so much gunpowder my gunsmithing skill is so high look at the blunderbuss i can make now i made a a high green blunderbuss because i'm telling you man make your gunpowder make it as much as you can because that's gonna that's gonna up your gunsmithing skill um and do things for you like give you the blunderbuss um i do have a lot of points to spend i'm going to uh take a look at anything i want to spend here um i definitely want to be able to make seven suit i can't make these rounds yet but i'm definitely going to want to make them eventually so let's just buy that perk um, shotgun, I'll probably do shotgun and pistols as well, but, oh, do I, oh, I don't need, oh, wow, okay, so check this out, I didn't even know this, although you might not be able to break them up, no, you should be able to, okay, so here's the deal, I thought the 9mm rounds, um, were the same as the magnum rounds for some reason, but you can actually get, um, you can actually be able to make magnum rounds without making 9mm rounds. Now, I would strongly suggest not taking this perk right here because the 9mm is the biggest piece of crap in the game. It is such a piece of garbage, it's not even funny. Um, so I wouldn't bother with them. Um, and when you get the bullets for the 9mm, I would just put them in your forge and you should be able to get brass out of them. And uh, use the brass to make uh, bullets for your magnum. Now, I know, you know, you don't have a magnum yet, obviously, but... Nope. I'm down here BSing. And the freaking horde's coming. All right, let's do this. As you can see, I did get a bunch of lights around the base. So you should be able to see somewhat well. Oh, here we go. Oops. They got to aim with the blunderbuss. You can't just shoot it or it's going to not do any good. There you go. Don't, don't hit fire with the blunderbuss. I hate the way they come at corners, man. Whoops. I just be a little loud for a minute, so. Yeah, you can loot them. By the way, these horde knights are going to be a little bit quiet. The game sounds a little louder, doesn't it? Let me, um, sorry. I don't normally like doing this in video, but, um, yeah, that, oh, that sounds really loud, doesn't it? Is that ambient noise, you think? Maybe. I'm not sure. It just sounds really loud. By the way, if you start getting lag, loot the, loot the, uh, by the way, F8 brings up your FPS. If you start getting lag, um, go ahead and loot the bodies. The bodies are what's causing lag. Also, I did plant trees right next to my base, which is a big no-no. I just got some, uh, what, a bat battle dress uniform or something. Now, the blunderbuss isn't great, but whatever. Like, I'm using it to get my shot shotgun skill up. Alright, scavenging is up to 11. That's pretty cool. Alright, that guy just got blasted. You can hit him in the head. It's actually quite a good gun. Go back up a little bit here. I don't talk much during these battles. They're just so intense, you know? Oh, you know what else we should do? Damn it, I don't have a shiv with me. I should be skinning those those damn dogs. 
Oh well, I don't want to leave up here just yet. I'm gonna go down and get a shiv though, at some point. Forget about that. Take that. Shot him right in the throat. Throat shot. Oh, damn it. Yeah, the blunderbuss is pretty cool in this situation. I mean, it's not great, but whatever. It's good. Cheap ammo. Cheap gun. Whatever. Okay. Let's go over here and loot. Ooh, that was a good one. You might as well just take the, the sandwich sandwiches and just assume you're gonna you're gonna have to take them for a while. And then just throw them out later. Because there's so many sandwiches, you're gonna pick them up by mistake anyway. That guy got blasted in midair as he fell. Wow, look at that corpse. <laughs> He eventually got in after he was dead. By the way, let's put these on. Yeah, battle dress uniform, I believe it's what they're called. They're not overly great, but whatever. They're better than what I had on, which was nothing. Let's kill this dog before he glitches his way in. I'm going to use the bow for a little bit, just for a little bit of a uh, difference. Yeah, man. There you go. It's hard to hit them. They're so herky-jerky up there. A lot of good loot here. Oh, pills for days! I love it. Okay, and if you want to, see how they're starting to break this up? Just go ahead and repair it. Also, if you like to, and you don't even want to use ammo. I don't know, guys. I think the best uh, thing here is the blunderbuss. You know what else we're going to need up here? A drop-off chest. Let's go down and get the, uh, let's go down and get the skinning knife. I want to skin those dogs. Um, where are my bones? There they are. Let's just go ahead and drop all this stuff off in here. Okay. So we're going to have to stop this, and we're going to have to go for the shiv. I, um, threw away my last shiv because... My uh, skill is so much better now. I can make so much of a better shiv. And let's continue making gunpowder. A, B, C. Always be crafting. I don't always follow it, but I try to. <laughs> That's it. You guys are all dead. Everybody's dead. Nope, not everybody. We got a late comer. Their movements are so incredibly hard to predict. 
that it's really hard to hit him sometimes. So I usually just aim for center of mass or, his, or their heads. There we go. We'll be careful here, we can get hit. You don't want to get hit by a crawler either because crawlers have a bad tendency of hurting your leg. Might as well use the rest of our blunderbuss ammo. Looking good, looking good. Don't care about any of that. Let's get this dog. I'm gonna harvest the dog the dog's bunghole. Alright, so that was pretty that was a pretty big horde for day seven, I gotta say. Um max spawn is definitely the way to go. Look at all this damaged stuff. They actually took out some spikes over there, too. I don't have any spikes on me to replace them. Down you go. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, corn. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So without this setup, I still wouldn't have corn. Although I'll probably find corn pretty quickly when I start looting next video, but still. Alright, so I'm going to go out there and check what's going on, but I, I want to have a way back up. So let's rebuild this. Alright, not bad. Oops, I probably want that. Okay. Remember, the corpses are what's giving you the lag. Also, trees. I should definitely cut down that, that set of trees there and not replace it. Alright. Successful horde is successful. Let's scrap that. Let's throw this out. Let's throw this out. Um, blood bags can be used for health, fullness, or hydration. Or you can use them to make med kits. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Let's go ahead and grab our axe. And let's get rid of these gore blocks. Gore blocks are really good to get rid of um, for uh, multiple reasons. First of all, they add to the heat of the area, uh, which will get you more screamers. Um, second of all, you get bones from them. And bones are really important for making glue. Glue is really important for making uh, duct tape, which you're going to need later on. Um, for those who've been watching my series for a while, you know how successful um, I've been defending bases with explosive bolts. Well, explosive bolts take duct tape. So do mines. So if you want to do anything fun with explosives later, um, start saving up your uh, start saving up your bones, glue, and duct tape now. Well, let's, uh, let's go get some spikes and do some repairs. Might as well. Now's the time to do it. It's not like we're going to go do anything else big today. So, uh, next video, we will definitely start looting. Actually, we might do it this video. We still got 10 minutes left on the video. Probably go looting today as well. All right. So, uh, I don't like doing inventory management on camera, but this won't be long. All right. That's good. We got the bones. Uh, that can be scrapped. Okay. So... Um, I don't really need any grain alcohol. I'm trying to think of what else I need. Oh yeah, I need the spikes. God, this is a mess. I need to start organizing as well. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to start organizing because I want to show you how I'm going to be doing it. Okay, so uh, there is uh, things you can put your uh, items in that's better than storage chest. You've got like storage boxes. These things are really cool. So I'm going to make a storage food box. We're going to have to stop this. I'm going to make a storage food box and a storage health box. Um, storage weapons, storage ammo, and that's good for now. We needed nails. Um, nails you make in the forge. 
uh, right there. You just need an anvil for the nails. That's how I made the nails. Should I start this thing going again? Um, what am I going to need iron for? I'm going to need a lot of iron. That's for sure. Um, should I start pumping iron in there? Or I should probably save iron for spikes. Um, nah, let's just, put, let's just put stone in there. Do I have any more stone? Ooh, I have barely any more stone. Uh, let's get some clay in there. Yeah. I would like this thing to start working, you know, while I'm out and about looting, so. Let's put the clay and the stone for, oh, I don't know, for a long time. How about that long? That works. Okay, looking good, looking good. Uh, is there anything else I need to craft? Um, I should probably craft some iron bars. I'm going to need them for my next base. But that's going to be a ways off. Let's craft some more steel. Some more forged iron. How much forged iron can we do? 32? Yeah, let's just do more forged iron. That'll work. That'll work. Get a lot more iron in there. Alright, so. First chest will be food. Should I have two food food chests? I probably don't need two food chests. So food... I'm not going to get too fancy with this. Usually, I make a big, super fancy storage area. But because of that, I usually only make my storage area, like, on day, like, 30. Because <laughs> I want it to be so perfect. But I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to just start putting stuff down. And we'll put that right there. And that could be that. Okay, so we're going to need a bunch of these... Right here. Actually, you know what? I want to make the explosives one first. And let's grab some more of these. Did, did we make, we're making it right now. And then let's make about four of these. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Alright, so the explosive one can go right there. Two guns and explosive. Explosive can go right there. Yeah, let's just put it right there. Because I want these to all go in the middle. Okay. Alright, so one of these uh, chests is going to be for potassium nitrate. Well, you know what? We're not going to need a lot of potassium. We're not going to need a lot of storage for potassium nitrate and gunpowder. Because a lot of that stuff is going to be inst... Or, sorry, for potassium nitrate and lumps of coal. Because a lot of that stuff is going to be instantly turned into gunpowder. But one thing we need before gunpowder is we need more wood log spikes. Um, we need more wood. There we go. Let's do that. Take the rest. Of the, take some more wood. All right, that's looking pretty good. So, um, yeah. So one of these is going to be for potassium nitrate and coal. And again, I'm not going to need that much space for the potassium nitrate because most of the time the potassium nitrate will be being turned right into gunpowder. Um, that's not the case right. That's not the case right now, but it will be. And also, I will be having lumps of coal left over because you seem to get more coal than potassium nitrate. So we'll also put gunpowder in here. And one more row. Trust me. Uh, some of you guys might be wondering why I'm putting one thing in each spot. It's so I can easily move things over to here. Like, let's say if I wanted to put the put potassium nitrate and gunpowder in there, I could just hold down shift and boom, left click. Boom, left click. And it goes where I want it to go. So, um, actually, you know what? That stuff doesn't go in there anyway. That goes in the explosives chest. What am I thinking? I'm not thinking. That's the problem. All right. Three, there you go. And, well, I'll do that off camera. Alright, so what else goes in the explosive chest? Paper? Oh, okay. It's daytime. Let's, uh, I'll organize this stuff off camera, but, um, I just wanted to show you the idea of what I'm doing. Um, we're gonna need that. Uh, we don't need this, but I do want bandages. Um, so, yeah, let's just, let's just use simple, well, no, I'm not gonna use simple bandages. We're gonna go pick some, some aloe. I have, a, like, 101 things I want to do right now, which is always fun in these games, by the way. Um, so we're gonna put the bottle water right there. We'll put that right there. We might want to take apart cars. So let's bring the good wrench. Where is it? There it is. All right. Let's get up there. Let's work with the farm. Let's let's finish up putting up the spikes where they're supposed to be, and um, and we'll go looting next video for sure. Okay. All right. So. 
spikes. And that's it. Now we just need to upgrade them. Uh, I should have plenty to upgrade them. Wow. Pretty cool horde. I've got some other defenses I can do as well. Although, I don't know if I'm going to do them here. Uh, they, invo they involve barbed wire. Honestly, this, uh, this setup, if I can get good guns, will take me well into day 30s. Like, seriously, like... And there's other, there's other little things I can add to it, but once I get guns, like, you know, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a good defense. And that's good, because then I don't have to rush. I don't want to rush my next build, my main base. I want to take my time with it. Um, but I'm gonna have to start thinking about how I want to do it now, because I'm, I don't know yet. I have, an, I have some ideas, but not really sure. I'm definitely gonna make the, uh, I'm definitely gonna dig the hole, but I need to know what, I need to know the layout of the base before I start digging the hole. You know, because I need to know... The, the, the dimensions basically all right so i'm not going to need this anymore i'll just put this up here because it'll be easier and i won't need this this there we go all right let's go to the let's go to the desert and get some aloe vera now you guys might be wondering well, well cage what the hell are you going to do with aloe vera what's what's up with that well aloe vera is going to be used to make um healing bandages um these now i haven't i haven't done a test on this in a long time but last time i did a test on this Painkillers lasted a certain amount of time. I forget how long. I think like a minute. And they would give you like one hit point per tick or something like that. I don't know what a tick was. Maybe it was a second. Maybe it was a couple seconds. I'm not really sure. But they would give you like a certain amount. And they would last for a certain amount of time. I think it was like half a hit point or something. But Or maybe it was one hit point. But the bandages, the healing bandages, give you the same amount of overall hit points but in half the time. So let's say the pills give you, uh, roughly speaking, let's say the pills give you 30 hit points over a minute the bandages would give you those same 30 hit points but over you know uh 30 seconds basically so we should also take apart this car as well so you can see when you take apart cars you get re really good items you get leather sometimes did i get leather no hm. i'm supposed to get leather i wonder if they took that out i don't think i got any le any leather all right whatever so here's the aloe vera plants you can also pick up the um, um, the yucca plants, which is pretty good. Uh, the yucca plants makes yucca juice, which I believe cools you down. So the fact that I'm living, you know, in a pretty hot area, uh, that's a pretty good idea. We also need to get more cactuses to upgrade our tool skills, although I won't be doing that today. Or maybe I should since I'm here, right? If I'm here, I might as well be doing it. So much to do. That's what I love about this game. There's just so much to do. Oh, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Plant fibers for days! By the way, if you dig underground in the desert, you can find, um, what's this stuff called? Uh, shale. And you could use shale to make gasoline. I've always, I've had a bug in this game, uh, pretty much for a couple alphas now. Actually, it might have been last alpha and this alpha. Well, that's two alphas, so. Anyway, I've had a bug in this game where anytime I got in my, uh, my mini bike, it would automatically fill with gas again. Like it happened last season and the season be it happened last season and the season before that. Alpha it started in Alpha 13. So I guess it's never really been an issue for me, but you know, I don't think that happens to everybody, so. Shale is the way to get gas. You can also get gas by cooking up um biofuel, and that's by I think you cook I haven't done it in a while. I think you cook plant um uh not tallow but the uh animal fat you cook it to tallow and then i think you cook the tallow again and then i think you get the biofuel and then and then you have to use um you have to use the biofuel and uh what's the other thing called biofuel and uh grain alcohol and you can make gas but it, it's it's very slow it takes a lot like just not a good way to get gas if you you'd be better off looking for a uh, farm i mean a, a farm really uh you'd be better off looking for a desert Got a bag. Okay. Okay, I don't like boots because they make me too hot, so I'm just gonna chuck those. If you've not been watching the whole series, um, you might be wondering why I'm hitting cactuses. Um, I'm hit sorry, cacti. Someone got really mad that I said cactuses. Um, you might be wondering why I'm hitting cacti. And the reason I'm hitting cacti is because it gives me a, an, a really large amount of uh, plant fiber. You can see I get 15 plant fiber for, per cacti. And that I'm using to uh, spam, um, oops, that I'm using to spam um, stone clubs to get my tool smithing skill up. Now I've re I've read in a couple places that um, stone 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 shovels is better to 
to craft and stone clubs. Um, sorry, then um, stone clubs. There's no such thing. Stone axes. But the thing is, uh, the, the shovels take um, take an extra plant fiber per shovel. Now, that might seem like a lot, but when you're only using two plant fiber per axe and you're using three plant fiber for the shovel, well, I mean, that's like a 50% increase, right? I mean, I don't know. I mean, you'd have to get a lot more experience to make that worth it in my book. I mean, sure, it's quicker, but you're going through more plant fiber. And plant fiber is like just a pain to get like a, enough of because you go through so much of it. Um, to make a to make those stone tools so all right guys i'm going to i think i'm gonna continue doing this thing in the desert how much do i have 35 i think i'm gonna spend a few more minutes in the desert i'm gonna go back drop everything off and then we are going to go on a loot run we still have time to go on a loot run if i get back if i go back now actually now is a good time to go back so i'm gonna go back now i'm going to organize everything we're gonna go on a loot run next video so that's gonna be it for episode nine um successful seven day hoard is successful and i'll see you next time for episode 10 till then take it easy